Warning! The cards you're about to see are previews and are in no way indicative of the final version. All cards are still subject to change. Hello and welcome to a BattleCon Trials of Indians character preview featuring Wardlaw, the self-styled villain. A villain to his very core, Wardlaw uses his immense strength and the powers of the Belt of Beatdown to challenge mighty foes like demons and dragons. Wandering the world of Indians in search for more opponents to fight, this brawling bad guy will beat you down. In the game, Wardlaw is a powerful brawler who has a myriad of movement effects that allow him to exploit opponents when they're in the edge of the arena. However, he pays for that by having very limited range as well as somewhat mediocre stats. Wardlaw is very much a character that centers himself on the edges of the arena, often using it as a weapon by smashing people into it or kicking off of it to gain some extra distance on his attacks. This manifests itself in his unique ability, Beatdown, which gives him various bonuses for moving people into the corner, being in the corner, or moving somebody who's already in the corner. Wardlaw is at his strongest when he or the opponent are in the corner, and he has a lot of tools to do just that. One of those tools is Smackdown, which allows him to sacrifice some power for some extra pushing capabilities. However, if that's not enough, you can also use his Dangerous Style, which turns all of the opponent's movement into retreats, making it so that they either stay in the corner or even corner themselves, allowing Wardlow to play some awesome mind games and pressure opponents to be very wary with their advance effects. However, this presents an entirely new problem. Wardlaw has the capabilities of pushing his opponents great distances, or at least making them cower into the corner. However, being the melee character that he is, he has a hard time hitting opponents from that far away. This is where styles like charging as well as overhead come in, which allow Wardlow to essentially teleport adjacent to the opponent and pressure the opponent from there. This not only lets Wardlow hit the opponent to begin with, it also allows him to set up for the next beat, where you can then pressure the opponent as Wardlow is now adjacent to you while they're in the corner. This can prove to be very dangerous for opponents if they're not careful, especially because Wardlow has a myriad of effects that allow him to take advantage of the opponent being in the corner. And now that Wardlow has his opponent cornered, he has to find a way to exploit their poor position. Of course, a majority of his styles do this by having extra movement effects which he can then convert into damage using his unique ability. However, if you're not satisfied with that, you can then use his massive style which deals massive damage if the opponent has no way of retreating. And all of this is augmented and represented by his unique base clothesline, which is very versatile for almost anything Wardlow wants to do. It can bring people into the corner as well as take advantage of the bonuses he gets for being in the corner himself. And it combos a lot with all of the movement effects on his styles, which basically lets him corner an opponent and then repeatedly push the opponent into the corner to cash out even more damage, making this one of the most powerful and effective bases in the game, but at the same time one of the most interesting. And when faced with dire straits, Wardlow has access to his overdrive finishers, the Pain Train, and Double Mustache Buster, which both augment his game plan of pushing people into the corner, as both of which take advantage of the opponent being far away from Wardlow and Wardlow being near the edge of the board. Both of these can end up dealing a ton of damage, and Double Mustache Buster specifically deals 20, which insta-kills most characters. And I would like to personally believe that Double Mustache Buster has Wardlaw jumping off a wall and then body slamming his opponent into nothingness. If you were to ask me personally, I think Wardlow works on three levels. His theme, his mechanics, as well as his playstyle. Theme-wise, he's essentially a heel wrestler, like from professional wrestling. He has a belt, all of his moves are wrestling related, and he says really weird quips like, Looks like you got a train to catch! And those are really cool because I think it's very cheesy and very ham. And I am a really ham kind of guy. Now for his mechanics, I find it really interesting because of his unique ability which focuses on the edges of the arena. And this can be very interesting and I know that there are implicit advantages to having your opponent cornered but Wardlow amplifies that even more, making it so that cornering the opponent now becomes the central theme of the character rather than just something you can do to optimize attacks. And I find this to be a very interesting concept because not a lot of characters do this without having to use markers. 
With that in mind, Wardlaw ends up being a very powerful character that ends up representing the grappler archetype that Indians has been lacking so much. Of course, characters like Kaja from the Devastation set are kind of like grapplers, but Wardlaw's theme and his mechanics emphasize being a grappler way more than Kaja does. Besides, if you played fighting games and like a certain red cyclone, Wardlaw's gonna be the character for you. And that pretty much does it for this BattleCon Trials of Indians character preview, featuring Wardlaw, the self-styled villain, sponsored by Level 99 Games. If you guys like this character or like the game, I highly recommend checking the Kickstarter out, the link for which can be found in the description box below. And of course, if you don't want to do that, you can simply click this annotation. Wardlaw is a very interesting character and is honestly one of the characters I'm really excited about in this set. So if you really, really like him and like him as much as I do or are as hyped for him as I am, click that annotation or click that link below. Without much else to say, thanks for watching and good night.